Hey guys, Rick here from Hobby Time. Welcome to the video. Today, we're gonna to be talking about this helmet. This is Dream's Helm from Sandman. Stay with us and uh, we'll go through the build process and how we got the paint and the skin texture and everything like that. So, let's get to it. So, here we have the trunk, I guess you could say. We pre-painted that one first to test to see what the new airbrush was gonna be like. Um, now, we've got the face of the helm. It was printed in two pieces. Um, as you can see, we ran out of filament there, so a bit of a filament change, but very happy how it turned out so far, other than the fact that it was in multiple pieces, but, eh, you know, beggars can't be choosers. So as you can see here, just using the heat gun to get some stringing out of the helmet because I didn't use any supports. Uh, getting some of the little burrs and zits as well, just making it a bit of a smoother finish for myself. That way it's a bit easier to wear, a bit more comfortable to wear. Don't get stabbed and don't cut my head open, which is uh, never an ideal scenario for anyone. Now I'm giving a bit of super glue on top of that. Um, we are left with a bit of seam, so we do fiberglass the inside as well. Now, as you can see, we're hitting it with the spray putty just to get knock off some of those layer lines and stuff like that. What we're gonna do now is I'm hitting it with the wood filler. I prefer that, it's easy to work with, doesn't smell. Um, so getting rid of that seam and obviously the join line. Now, so yeah, it's coming up all right now. I'm doing the eyes, giving a bit of a test fit. Uh, you'll see something in the next video. I'm making a vacuum forming machine so I can do these kinds of eyes and make it nice and easy on myself. Here you can just see obviously this is a test fit with the trunk just to make sure it fits together. Obviously you've got to have the obligatory uh, helmet pose with it unfinished. Now this is the first layer of primer, uh, matte black. Then we've moved on to a copper so it gives a nice copper finish. Then I move into it with the airbrush and start hitting it with some brown, dull it down, give it that worn leather appearance. Here you can see obviously it's changed now to a darker brown, giving it a very aged, weathered, worn look. And obviously that's what we were hoping for. Let's see, you can see there, I haven't put the eyes in as yet. Now this is some tissue paper that we've done just to make the skin texture. Obviously I've airbrushed that, ripped it up into organic pieces so I can test fit it. Just having a look at some of these test fittings now, obviously we changed it up a little bit and curved it in, things like that to make it look a little bit more organic. Wasn't 100% happy with it, but in the end I think it turned out okay. Needed a bit of extra paint on top of it, but here is the finished product just so you can have a look and see. Um, this is how it turned out. Very happy with the colouring and the weathering and everything like that. So this was a very fun build. Yeah, so that was a quick little video about Dream's Helm. Uh, nothing too flash, but uh, new airbrush. So I've got to take some new techniques. Uh, but in the end, very, very happy. Um, working on a vacuum forming machine so i'll post a short video on that once i've done those re redone those lenses again but um let me know what you think of dreams helm um if you've got something you want to see next let me know because i'm just uh going uh, on people's ideas right now essentially um but yeah thanks for tuning in as always and um we will catch you on the next one